Hello everybody. So good afternoon. It is Carla Nicole and um, I'm here in the flesh. I wanted to uh, talk today about transforming the way we love. Okay, so this is going to be a very, uh, very sweet but very um, important conversation we need to have about the way we are loving. I think a lot of times we love, but are we? So let's talk about that. So everybody, welcome. Carla Nicole, if you have never been to this show, I do this show every Sunday at 12 noon. And this show is designed to help improve people's lives. And I am, um, I am a wisdom coach with a unique uh, perspective with a, twist of, with a twist of wisdom. That's what I do. So I want to talk about this today because I think it's very, very important that we understand that love is not just something that um, that we just know. It's something we have to practice, learn how to um, do better with the way we are doing it and the way we're loving. A lot of times we love or we claim to love, but we really don't sit back and see if we're loving in a good way. Are we loving properly? Happy Sunday to you, Knox. Are we loving properly or are we just loving the way we think is supposed to be the right way to love? I mean, that's very important. So I want to talk about that today. So love, right? We tell someone we love them. We tell someone we care about them. We tell someone that we have compassion for them. But is loving really what we're displaying when we tell someone that we love them? See, a lot of times we sit back and we claim to love someone. But I think we really need to look at if we're loving from a very honest space. And if we are not loving to the best of our ability, are we challenging if we're loving properly or not? See, it's important that we look at ourselves. So, sometimes I think we live this life and we do things and we don't really step outside of ourselves and look and see, is the way we're doing things really to the best benefit of the person we care about and the person that is receiving our love, are they receiving it in a great light? Or are we loving and just saying we're loving, but we're really not reflecting love? So let's talk about that. So a lot of times we don't really sit back and think about what is love really? How are we showing someone we care? See, a lot of times we say we care about someone, we, 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 we tell other people that love is, is just in an, in an abundance, but how are we loving somebody? See, I had to really look at this for myself personally, because over the years, and I look at myself and what I've done in my past and how I loved the loves in my life, how I love my children, how I love my friends, how I love my parents. And I sit back and I really started to dissect, am I really loving to the best of my ability? What does the person that I claim to love, what is it that they really need from me to, to actually receive it? How are they receiving my love? See, I don't think we really think about that. We tell someone we love them, right? We say, I love you. But do they feel it though, is the question. Is someone truly feeling your love? Or are they really not sure? Because see, I think that a lot of times time is very important when it comes down to saying you love someone. I have a lot of people that I coach that are not sure if the person they're in a relationship with even are if they're truly in a relationship with them or not. They're not sure. They'll ask me like, well, what do you think about my relationship? And I'll say to them, well, when's the last time you talked to this person that you're claiming to be in a relationship with? Well, I haven't talked to her since last Thursday. Or the person that I love, I haven't talked to them since, you know, Monday or... Really? <laughs> so you, you love this person, but you haven't spoken to them? Really? Okay. Um, and, and the thing is, if that is the type of relationship you're in and there is an understanding that we won't talk every day then that's one thing. You you have an understanding. You have a knowledge that that you not speaking to each other for the for that duration of time doesn't mean you don't love them. 
So there's an understanding. However, if you're in a relationship with someone and the person you're in a relationship with desires to be spoken to more often, more frequently, wants to spend more time with you, and you really don't have that to give or you're not giving that, then you have to ask yourself, hold on a minute. Then am I really showing that person how I feel? Are they receiving how I feel in their interpretation to the best of my ability? Am I showing this person I truly care about them? To where they can understand, yes, I'm being cared for. Because I'm I'm getting a lot of people in my inbox or I'm getting a lot of people in my, you know, in my email saying they're not sure. I'm not sure if I'm being cared about. Why? Well, they don't really contact me enough, or we don't have enough you, you know, we don't have enough interaction. So, for example, and I'll put myself, you know, I like to put myself on front street because I like to let everybody know, look, I'm human. Yes, I'm a wisdom coach. Yes, I'm out here impacting lives. But let me tell you something. I am not perfect. I've had a share of my own stuff. Let me tell you. So I wanted to bring this up because I think a lot of times we say we love someone, but then a lot of times we're unsure if the person feels the same. But how do we know that? I had to sit back and look at my own situation. For instance, I was in a long distance relationship. And in that long distance relationship, um, there was really not a lot of time spent. We claimed to be in a relationship for seven years. Okay. But when you sit down and you really look at the time spent to eat with each other, Hey Paul, Hey John, when you really look at the time that we spent together in each other's presence and was engaging with each other, getting to know each other, talking to each other. I can't claim seven years, but we said we were together for seven years, but I can't claim that because the time that we truly spent together was not chronologically seven years. It wasn't. So I had to look at something a little different and I had to ask myself, well, what do you really need, Carla Nicole? What do you really need in a relationship, a primary relationship, an intentional relationship or a relationship you're in? What do you really need to, to feel someone's love for you and how they care for you? And I had to be like, I had to answer my own question. Well, for me, I would like to hear from the person I care about. And I would like to talk to them, get to know them and spend time with them and not, and not have to be like, uh, I'm unsure if they care about me. I don't want to be in that space. And I'm sure that a lot of people that's reaching out to me in that headspace is very frustrated because they feel discomforted. But a lot of times we can't say out of our mouth what we really, really want. We can't because it's hard to put into words. I would like to spend more time with you makes you what? Vulnerable, right? And a lot of times we don't want to admit that love requires a level of vulnerability. We must be vulnerable in order to learn how to accept someone's way of loving us. And nine times out of 10, a lot of times we don't even realize that a lot of times the things that we claim that hinder us from truly being able to advance a relationship it really isn't the case we can actually we can truly hey roberta we can actually truly advance a relationship to the higher level that it's at just by merely sitting down and saying this is what i desire now at that time are we are we are you willing to gift me this in order for me to say it's easy for someone to tell you they love you it's easy. That can come right out of your, I love you. Okay. But how do I feel it though? Sometimes someone can tell me they love me and I can feel it. I can't describe it. It's a feeling. I can feel their love for me. And sometimes I can be in a relationship with someone and they can show me they love me, not by what they buy me. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what they show me. By what? By how we conversate, by how much time we spend, by how we interact, by how them really truly being inquisitive about me, who I am. So, so that's love, see? But we don't, we don't calculate that as love. We want love to be shown by who, what they buy us, if they cater to our wants, 
Are they, are they willing to buy me this and that? But that's not what love is. See, I'm trying to get y'all to understand that in intentional love relationships, we got to get outside of thinking that everything is based upon what someone gifts you or buys you. That is going to find, you're going to find yourself disappointed every time you're with a, in, within a relationship trying to see what someone buys you and gifts you all the time. It's not going to be to your benefit. I don't have to talk to my children every day. I don't have to, well, my adult child every day. I don't have to talk to her every day. But she knows I love her. She knows I care about her. Not because of what I gift her and buy her. No. She knows if she needs me, it doesn't matter. If she needs me for anything, she knows she can depend on me. She also knows that there's a level of care for her beyond just what so when I'm saying things to my daughter and telling her how I feel or telling her what she needs to do to improve her life, these are things that I gift her, advice or, or encouragement. That is, this hair, that is the way that I show my child that I love her and care about her as a parent. So being a parent, there is a way I can display love to her without buying her a bunch of stuff. Without buying my son a bunch of stuff, I don't have to buy my kids to make them know that I love and care about them. But I do have to do something so that they feel my love. For instance, my daughter and my son are very affectionate children, so they like to hug and tell me they love me. And you know what? I feel it every time they say it. Not because they're my children, but I feel the energy coming from them. So that's an unseen love, but I can feel it when they say it. So with that said, it shows us a lot that we can understand love just by mere verbal, verbally saying it to our, our, our family or to our kids. So the way I display my love to my kids is going to be definitely different how I display my love to the love interest I'm in a relationship with. But the reality is there has to be something that you feel from the person you're in an intentional relationship with. So for you people that are dealing with being in an intentional relationship or being in a parenting dynamic with your kids and you're really not sure if you are being cared for because you're their parent or not, it you can do one or two things. You can stop buying. Stop buying things. And see if the love from your kids are still there. If not, you have to now reconstruct your relationship with your child to get them to understand I love you, but I'm not here to be your, your bankroll. I'm your parent. I care about you. What I'm gifting you is encouragement, advice, direction. And in, my, in, in those three things alone, those things are a display of, uh, is a display of what love is. A lot of times we miss that part. See, we don't talk about how important it is to encourage, advise, and direct our kids. But it's vitally important that we do that and definitely discipline. See, again, that is also a real a realm of love. But we don't talk about that because that's not what's displayed out here in the movies. That's not displayed out here in the sitcoms, in the reality shows. They're not showing you that discipline and, 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 and advising and directing your children is a part of what parenting is. But they will highlight parents that go out here and buy Beamers and BMWs for their kids. They'll buy all kinds of stuff for their rich children and all that. That doesn't mean a hill of beans if your kid doesn't know how to manage the money. <laughs> so you're not really helping your child to be in a wealthy state and be able to maintain it. For instance, we can gift our children all kinds of financial gifts, right? We can give our kids all kinds of money. What good is it to give them that without giving them intellect and understanding of how to manage money, how to have a relationship with money? In order to do that, you have to teach your children how to manage it. But we don't want to do that. That's too much work. No, that's what we're supposed to do as parents. That is a display of love. Again, this is what we don't talk about because it's not highlighted. This is not sexy. Bet you this won't go viral because this is not something that people really want to talk about. People don't want to admit that loving their children requires something that has nothing to do with money, but everything to do with teaching. 
advising, directing, encouraging. Those things are key and the number one thing to help you to be the best parent so that child can become the best version of who they are. That's, that's key. And then what about our relationship with our parents? As we are aging and becoming older, our parents are aging and becoming older. So are we having a decent relationship with our parents? Do our parents even know we care about them? When's the last time you picked up the phone and called your parent to check on them? Are they good? Are they happy? Are they fulfilled? Is what Are their needs being met? When's the last time you checked on your parent, your elder parent or your elder grandparent? When's the last time you did that? I know our lives are busy, but when's the last time you checked in to see how they're doing? Are we loving right? Because, see, I have an elder father. My mom is deceased, but I have an elder father I check on. And in that checking on him, we have constant conversations. We have a lot of laughs and conversations. And, and, and as far as I'm concerned, you know, I'm, in, I'm very engaged with him because, for me, he is a part of my life and very important to me. And I don't take it lightly. I tell my father every time I hang up from him that I love him. And I don't care... At what time, I will call him back if I didn't say it. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But I not only tell him, I show him. By constantly making sure he has what he needs. For me. Are you feeling my love, Dad? Do you, do you feel it? Or is this just a routine? Is this just, do you just see me calling you as just a part of the, the you know, the routine of my day? No, I call you because I care. I might not always agree with everything you say, but I respect you and I respect our relationship and thankful for you. These are all kinds of, st these are all types of ways we can improve how we love. Love is a beautiful word, agape, right? It's a beautiful word. But are we doing it to the best of our ability? When's the last time you checked on your family members? Is your, are you so miserable to go home because you don't really have great love in your home anymore? Are you in a loveless relationship? Does it take something tragic for you to even appreciate what you have? I mean, like I say all the time, it's amazing how many passionate kisses I see going on at the airport. But when he comes home from work, all dirty and filthy from, uh, you know, from working out at, in the field. You're not really kissing and hugging him like that then. Why? Oh, I don't want all the dirt on my clothes and all that. That doesn't matter. He's here. Be thankful. But we only want to passionately kiss them when they're leaving on the airport. Leaving and be gone. Or we don't know if we're going to see him again. Or, or, or in the hospital. Then we want to kiss and hold him. No. Appreciate every day. And make sure you're checking in that you're, that the person you are in love with understands that. That they know you care. And it's by actions. Trust me. I've had a lot of people tell me they loved me and found out that was a crock of crap. But I've had people show me they love me. And let me tell you something. It is undeniable. <laughs> it's undeniable. When someone showed me that they loved me, I didn't have to guess. I didn't have to just ponder on the thought like, well, are they or are they not? No, I knew. You ever think about that? Like some people, you just know they care for you. You know, if you pick up the phone and say, hey, I'm, I'm in a bad state or I, I need you, they will be there. Those people I'm talking about. And those people are people that maybe will shower you with a bunch of gifts or buy you a bunch of stuff. But man, when you need them, they're right there and we'll do it and we'll go out their way to take care of you and you're like damn this person really truly loves me and I feel that so we have to learn to unlearn the commercialized way of love because I think a lot of times we see all of these um, movies and uh, commercials and all kinds of things Showing us that love is based upon somebody gifting you something. Buying you flowers. Mother's Day. Father's Day. They got all this. Go out and buy your parent this. Go out and buy your parent that. Go out and buy your, your woman this. Go out and buy him that. You know what? What's so funny? 
is with me having a father and I tell him all the time dad I think you're the reason why I'm a poet to this day but for me having a father he would always tell me whether it was for his birthday or for when it was Father's Day he would tell my mother and me he didn't want bought cards he didn't want he didn't want cards that was written by someone else he wanted a card from me handwritten or drawn or whatever he wanted the card in the words from me he didn't want the card from Hallmark to tell him how I felt and I thought to myself that is the reason why I, I am a poet to this day because I had to put into words how I felt about my father because that's what he expected that's how he said I receive your love from for me based upon what you write to me in that in those words I will receive your love for me but we don't ever try to check in to see how do you receive your love from me how do you know I love you have you asked anybody how do you know I love you or care about you is it based upon what I buy you is it based on what you know I mean how you feel what is it but he would always tell me I don't want a bought card I want it written out I want you to write it and I used to say okay you know that was kind of awkward because I didn't even know how do you start right and then it made me really go dive into my inner being and begin to write truly what I felt and how I felt about my parent about my father and so now I write all the time right but when you sit back and look at it it's like that is key if we really look at how we are loving someone that is key to understanding how will they receive your love because it's easy to say I love you that's easy that's the easy part I love you I, I love you okay but did they receive it do they understand it do they know it and how will they be able to channel or understand how you feel have you ever asked them this is something that you know for me I'm always thinking outside the box I don't stay inside I don't color inside the lines I'm always coloring outside the lines because for me I want to challenge everybody to see things a little bit different so when's the last time you asked them how do you know I love you how do you know I care and how do you how do you receive love have you ever asked somebody how they receive it what's the best way for you to receive love because we all have a love reservoir inside our soul we have a love reservoir and we know that certain people pour so much love and abundance in our in our reservoir that it's just overflowing so we just know that person loves us and then there's some people that we're not sure it's like I'm not sure if you love me or not I'm not sure if something happened to me you would care then that's maybe something you need to talk about and some people are having that type of arrangement and laying in the bed with them every night next to them but really are unsure if that person loves them or cares about them and that to me I, I mean for me personally I had a I had a family member that that had that arrangement and I truly believe that that family member passed with a broken heart I do because there was a love there wasn't any love there there really wasn't an understanding of love she that family member just wasn't sure if the person she was involved with loved her and so you know it's important that we understand that love is is powerful but we also need to know that we need to learn how to transform how we love and then we need to understand well how is it that I understand you love me how do I read and understand and tra transform my understanding of love in your way that you show me am I able to do that I'm just saying <laughs> it's something we got to think about again love is a powerful thing but love is also something that is very unique but everybody loves different 
So it's very important that we understand that there is a power in loving someone else. And outside of that, you have such an amazing way of loving someone when you show them and not just say it to them. I hope this helps somebody. So again, you know, like I said, love in abundance, but understand that love is not something that you just give. It's something you show. It's something you are. And because I said, like, when I push it out to people that I care about and they feel it, then I've done my job as a daughter, as a mother, as a lover. All of these things are important for me to know that you're receiving it as a best friend. I mean, are you receiving that I love you or not? Because it's easy to say it, but harder to, but harder to show it. I hope I helped somebody today. Like I said, this might not go viral because this is not the commercialized way of how everybody sees love, but love is very unique. And a lot of times we don't realize that there's a power behind it. If we just share it and get to know how someone else receives it. And then we make sure that that person never doubts that we have a love for them. That's truly a beautiful thing. Trust me, it really is. So I'm out of here, lovelies. Um, be sure to go over to my YouTube channel subscribe today it's Carla Nicole wisdom channel um, and make sure that uh, you share this video somebody needs to hear it okay I'm out of here I'm Carla Nicole I'm signing off best kept have a great day bye bye